Hello, this is Inayat Mir and uh, this is a new lab uh, regarding a roaming profile. So what is a roaming profile when a user logs in as a domain member uh, from any client computer uh, within the domain and he will get his profile or her profile wherever uh, user logs in from. So in this situation what I have here I have two client computers one is running Windows 7 operating system and the second uh, client computer is running Windows 8 and then I have a domain controller which is a kentaso.com domain and I will go and create a user account and first I will log in from Windows 8 client and then I will log in from Windows 7 client so when I will save a profile from Windows 8 uh, that profile will be saved from any other client computer so then I will go back into Windows 7 computer and I will log in and I will see that same profile so let's go and start that so here where I am right now it is a client computer so along the way I will explain how it goes so w8 client 2 is my client computer and uh, where we have a windows 8 operating system so here I am showing you uh, how I logged in so currently I am logged in uh, in that computer uh, on windows 8 as a, a domain member but let's go first create an account in Active Directory the other end this is my DC domain controller so I am creating a user account and I will give them a name roaming because this uh, uh, video is about a roaming profile so let's give it a name uh, I don't want to uh, change the password when I log in first time so this is my uh, common password which I am using right now so this is a domain user what else I need a, a shared folder uh, somewhere on a file server so I will assume that this is my file server so I am going to create a new folder I will name it profile and now I am going to share this folder and I am assigning full control for everyone for this lab purposes or for this demo purpose so I am going to allow full control everyone full control and this will be my shared folder which I am going to use as a UNC path universal naming convention so let's go and check what is my host name of this domain which is supposed to be nyc-dc1 so just type a host name and you will see a result okay so this is my nyc-dc1 and uh, dc is a domain controller and nyc-dc1 is a host name so I'm going to use uh, backslash backslash my server name which is also a domain controller and a single slash my share name which is profile then I will use a backslash and variable like a percentage sign a username percentage sign when I apply I suppose to see the username there we go that's the username so now my UNC path is ready, my shared folder is ready, I am back on my Windows 8 client computer but I have to log off because I am logged in as an administrator which uh, is not a desired action. So I am going to log in back as a new user which is roaming as a domain member of course. And what I'm gonna do here, I will create a new folder on my desktop. Since I am using a roaming profile, uh, that folder, the one I'm creating now, 
M E E R one two three whatever is just a random name which I am using it, and I am creating a document inside of this folder. So now you know on Windows 8 client I have a new folder and on the desktop and I have a document, a text document within the folder. And let's go to command line and just to verify that this is a Windows 8 client. And I also gonna verify my host name. So this is my host name W8 client 2 and WinOver is a Windows version so I'm running a Windows 8 operating system on this client computer and I'm going to log off and going back into my second client computer because once you log off you save your profile so this profile should contain a, a desktop folder with a with a document so this is my Windows 7 client I'm going to log in with the same user this is the first time so I'll go and create a profile here that's mean automatically a profile will be created when I log into this client as a domain member. Again, same username, roaming. And I'm logging in and uh, at first login, my profile will be created. So as soon as I'm in, you will see that there should be a desktop folder with a document in it. All right, so there is a folder, there is a document, so I'm going to modify the document with my name. Okay, so when I log off, so this profile will be saved also uh, with my name. So when I go back to my Windows 8 client computer, uh, that client computer will pick up this profile because I'm going to save this, but before I save, let me show you this uh, host name win7 and windows 7 ultimate so now i can freely log off and i'm going back into my windows 8 client again to log in back to tell you or to show you that i should have this desktop folder with my modified client document Okay, so this is my Windows 8. So I'm using now, in other words, I have used two Windows clients. Okay, this is my document on the desktop, and this is a modified file available under my document. So let's see here what is my, just to show you that you know that this is my client computer. It is W Windows 8 client. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what we have learned from this video that I had a user account which I have created a user account uh, roaming and I also created a, a shared folder and I acted as a file server on my domain controller and I used this account from two client computers so wherever I saved this profile after logging off, uh, I was able to see uh, that profile saved to any other location from a second client computer. So the main concept is that if you have a roaming profile, you can carry that profile in your desktop folders or whatever folders basically you have within your profile, you carry over to a different client computer. So wherever you log in from, so wherever you logged off, so last time you logged off, that profile is saved and from the new computer so for example you are a technician and you want to uh, use your roaming profile and you are walking into client computers and you need to download a video driver for example a, a network card driver or any kind of driver or you want to copy over any file for that client so simply you can uh, walk over uh, with your domain user account with your roaming profile and that's where you get your, the benefits. So I hope uh, you understand this all concept. Uh, in case if you need uh, any help, so you can always contact me and you can email me. Uh, I will uh, get back to you. Uh, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.